Oh, hi. No, stop. No studio mode. All right. Good, great, grand, wonderful. Music, please. Please, please, chair. That seems fine. I need some music while I do this. And TOS and shit means that you can't listen to the music I'm listening to, so... Master. Okay, music check. Ugh. This is what we're making today. This is me practicing soldering, so this is all through hole shit, which I think is going to be easier than doing the, uh, whatchamacallit, um, uh, what would you call that? Surface shit? <laughs> the shit. So, yeah, we're going to construct this. Uh, so dog, yeah, I, I attempted this once before already, just cause, you know, I wanted to try it without distractions of streams and things like that, and I failed because I put the LEDs in, uh, in reverse. There's a good reason for that, and I, I will show you, and I think I have a way to fix that problem now, but, let's see if I can Where is this? Let me find it. There we go. Okay. And it's upside down. <laughs> yeah. All right, ready? Left to right, red, elo, red, elo. In order, install LED. The LED's anode corresponds to the R pad. Now, when you see that, Uh, it's a little bit confusing. Uh, now, anode, anode is the positive side or the long side of an LED. And I, uh, being the dumb beginner that I am, got them fucked up. So I put the cathode in the square instead of the anode. So this is round two on this specific kit. I have learned things since then. Uh, lots of things. I have, I have done my, my good boy YouTube studying. I'm learning all about the electrical engineering of shit. How all this shit's supposed to work. I, I can almost reasonably read a, a diagram. And there is a diagram here, right? So I, I can actually reasonably read this now, thank God. I still have no idea what why why like this matters right now, but they call these triodes that but when I see the signal er, the symbol everywhere else, it's a transistor, a, a bi-directional transistor. So I don't know if they're the same thing or whatever, but anyway. First thing is first. Uh, lots of super tiny parts everywhere, and I'm going to take a minute to organize them before we actually get going. Hey, uh, other shit that I got. So, okay, this is going to be weird, but it's because it's upside down. You know what? Let me let me let me fix. And it's and it's I got the focus weird too. Shit. I had it all set up to make sure that you guys could get see. This is nice and focused and and pretty. Um, I can tell you, you're right next to you. It's going to be upside down, guys, because I've got it so you can see the, my orientation. But I got this uh, fume extractor. It's a little basic one. No big deal. I'm not spending a you know grand on some bullshit. So I will definitely get the $20 version. And I also got, and it's, it's uh, upside down over there, I got myself a nice little um, power supply so that I can actually test this shit without having to plug in wires. And everything. Um, I also got my multimedia, or multimedia, my multimeter chilling in the back there. So I think we got everything covered. Not like I, I would definitely know how to work with all these things, but I did enough homework to get myself reasonably uh, acquainted with shit. So there's, there's that. Um. All right. This guy, this guy here is specific to one little pin here, and I fucked this up too. I ended up. The one thing I'm missing is a desoldering gun, which is on its way. So I just hope I don't fuck anything up because I've I've had to try to 
you know, release this and clean these little pads and these holes. And boy, did that suck. So I put this resistor in where one of these guys should have gone. And I screwed it up. Damn it. Um, this is going to be pretty straightforward chill stream. I'm probably not going to do a lot of talking because I'll be focus faced. So yeah, background stream. Put on your favorite music. Uh, grab your, your favorite substance of choice. And uh, chill with me. Hopefully this won't be too bad. Through hole should through hole was was not too bad. Watching Lewis Rossman all these years uh, definitely helped. I already knew some shit. Just like oh that happened. Let me try this. Let me let me just you know. So right now what I'm doing is I'm just knowing. Oh hey, Luke. Thank you for the resub. Oh shit. You guys probably could hear that. I need to I need to mute my uh, my computer. Luke, thank you so much. Always a pleasure to have you in the murder. There we go. Uh, the camera perspective gives you vertigo. I don't know that there's much I can do about that. I'm not going to be uh, buying like a little freaking stereo microscope. Doesn't seem like a good use of funds. But, I mean, what I can do is I can flip, flip it the other way around so it looks like you're um, you're sitting across the table from me. So, what do you guys want? Do you want to have my perspective, which is what you've got right now, or do you want to have uh, sitting across the table from me? I leave it up to you. I'm not doing anything super exciting right now. I'm just, you know, you guys can watch me do this, I guess. I'm just separating out little components and, you know, putting them in piles. Otherwise known as nulling. <clears throat> oh. There you go. You know I have sitting across the table from me view. And you're stuck with it. I ain't changing it back. So. There. Take that. A lot of LEDs. Five trillion LEDs. Must make piles of LEDs. So yeah, the purpose of all this is to get my soldering skills up enough such that I can confidently uh, wire together the eventual lightsaber. Is that I will be building on stream? And coincident with that, I got a shit ton of, of tools that I've, I've actually honestly always sort of needed. Um, I've done some some of the projects and shit that I've had to work on, especially in like including, you know, just repairs around the house. I've had to get really creative with uh, cutting through materials, boring holes. So now, thanks to this lightsaber project of mine, I've got a, a good excuse to get some more tools to help me do that. One of the tools, of course, is, is related, or one of the sets of tools is, you know, related to the soldering of things and passing of, you know, current from one end to the other at the speed of light. I guess technically that's near the speed of light, right? Don't use any resistors. Yeah, yeah, I won't do that. See, I've done enough homework, Luke, that you don't need that kappa for me to not do that. I am aware of Ohm's Law. I actually had learned uh, Ohm's Law when I was doing some of my 
my foray into using straightforward uh, battery to coil connection stuff and custom coils for uh, vaping. Longer leg is positive. Yes, it is, because it is the anode. See, I did homework. Little ICs are trying to have a baby here. Um, I want to put you way to hell over here. Big stuff probably wants to jump off the table. Capacitor. Capacitor. Electrolytic capacitor. All the capacitors can live right here. And more of these triodes. Though every sim simple thing I've seen calls them a bipolar transistor. I guess they're the same thing. All right. Organ is sized. Now what it wants me to do... <clears throat> so. Just to make sure... Yeah, the big thing that screwed me up before, um, the LED's anode, which is the long leg, the positive leg, go to the square pads. There's, you know, there's a part of me that just tries to, I'm trying to remember how I fucked it up before. I don't know what a lead bender is. Like, again, guys, this is, this is, <laughs> this is one of those things with streams. You're either going to get people doing shit that they're really good at, right, over and over and over, or every once in a while you'll get somebody who's pretty much novice about things. This is one of those pretty much novice about one of those things kind of streams. I know just enough, I think, to accomplish this very basic kit, which cost me like 16 bucks on Amazon. Square it up. Square it up. Okay. Get my, my not sponsored drink here nice and covered. All right. So a thought that I have actually is to wire up everything except for the LEDs because I'm confident about those. Um, and then I can, I can loose fit in the very first LED. Um, because, as you can see, that's LED zero, right here. So diode zero, LED zero. It is, uh, it's on the same rail as all the other LEDs, but it is, it is separate. It's on its own circuit to ground, right? So if I've got everything else in, I should be able to just have this one LED spot, which is right smack dab in the mil middle here, D zero. Um, uh, have that loose and then I can and then I can uh, just make sure that I've got I'm doing it correctly before I go and hard solder every freaking LED every five you know all these five million LEDs into the thing then I can make sure that's kind of what I'm thinking and I wouldn't it, there's it's not gonna not gonna hurt anything because it completes the circuit it's gonna be a closed circuit just at that one point but not at the rest of them of course because they have to actually you know chain themselves along all right, let me, uh, get my soldering iron going here. So yeah, I think I'm going to do that. We're, we're not going to necessarily follow the instructions as they have in here, which is basically put, put resistors, then put LEDs, then put all the rest of the stuff. We're going to do resistors, the rest of the stuff, then the LEDs. It's my party. I do what I want. And I may or may not need it, but I did bring some some uh, flux along with me. Side cutters, of course, the solder, lead-free solder. <clears throat> See, here's the problem metric. That's a lot of LEDs. And if I were to do that, and let's say I got it wrong, then I have to unbend every one of those LEDs, remove them all insert them again and rebend them. So to me, it just strikes me as an inefficient, uh, inefficient process when I can just try it once and then work around it. That's my thought on it. 
Uh, because I've done it before. So mainly, mainly it's a matter of me having done it before. I'm, I'm not exactly sure how I ended up doing that, but I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure, I mean, I could, I could actually just kind of go with it because I'm pretty sure what happened is I confused uh, the anode for the negative leg instead of the positive leg. Pretty sure that's what I did. Though there is a part of me that kind of wants to see if this would work in this way anyway. No, Metric, I'll figure it out. I appreciate the advice and everything, but you got you got to let the guy, you know, just do his thing. That is how learning occurs. Oops. All right. Let's get this cleaned off a little bit. Oh yeah, no, it's, I, I, guys, I'm, I am, okay, this, this wire is a cathode, and it's the positive, this wire, the shorter wire, is the anode, and it's negative, and I don't know if these actually came with the flat, they did. They did. So they're 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 properly. Uh, I don't know if this, I'm gonna be able to get this into focus, but uh, right here, this side is flat, so it is is properly pointing to the the uh, cathode. All right, let's do stuff. Um, this guy is is standalone, so we're gonna do this by itself. I could also use a little, I need like a little box or something for, for cutoffs. Give me, give me a sec. All this, all these boxes have... Hmm. Got one small one for damage. Oh, you know what? I actually want them up. So I'm not sweating as much. Let me set the stand up. Since I am in this delightful California 90,000 degree weather. That would be helpful. And Rather large, oversized garbage can for things in this project. This guy, yeah, is my 10K. I don't know why I'm using those. I don't need to. Not for this. Lessons learned from last time, I find it easier to approach it from this side. Ah, come on. Over 
it there. sunburnt look we're doing things that are potentially germane to your actually I don't need to use these uh, potentially germane to your uh, your line of work First one's on. Now. Here. So the one K's are. What do we got? One K's and two. So two. Two is, if I'm remembering my, my color banding code correct, red on the left is two. I don't have to look it up, I can just cheat and look at the diagram here. I am presently just removing resistors from this little strip here. So having done this once, uh, I'm definitely feeling better about things. I'm going to try that thing I was talking about, though, guys. I don't know why that was controversial, but I'm going to do it. Because it lets me understand circuitry better. If it works, then that means that the way I'm thinking about things was in some way an accurate way to think about things. I also have um, one of these kits for practicing pad soldering, which is I've got one uh, super super small surface mount resistor I have to contend with in the lightsaber. The rest of it's basically wire splicing and shit like that, or through through hole. Previously, basically the way I, I did things is I did small sections at a time, but as I progressed I realized, no, it's, it's fine to just get everything placed and situated and then go back. So everything's like one, one uh, process of movement instead of separating it out. Man, I, like, Twitch really went crazy on the TOS stuff, music-wise, and maybe if you're a bigger streamer, you can get away with shit like that. 
but I'm just, I'm ultra, I want to be ultra careful about it now. So, the headphones I have on have music going on. I'm just listening to my, my Spotify playlist, which, if you guys know me, is, and you were to guess that it's metal, you'd be right. I was thinking about putting on maybe video game soundtracks, but apparently that's potentially a thing too, so. You can't do that unless you're playing the video game. That one wasn't very pretty. And yeah, this uh, this I remember. There's one place where they didn't actually mark on the PCB the location of one of these. And I believe it's like right here. But I'll check. I'll double check. Ooh. It's that one band that sounds like Rammstein, but it's not. Where is this? This is... Nope, it's the one just below it. Soldering iron activate. I don't know if it's the right way to do it, but I find that if I come at it perpendicular to wherever I bent, it seems to go nicer for me. I'm trying to just line up the camera a little bit so I can make sure that I keep 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 it in frame while doing this. song I did change the tip on this too I'm still using a chisel but based on what as I understand it it's you really want to have a tip that's you know as big as possible but not so big that you're overlapping your work you know that guy's kind of in the way Temporary squinch up like that. There we go. Try not to burn the camera. <laughs> Oh. All right. 
ya. Kind of chucking and making sure I'm not missing things. Hey! I didn't hear it, Colette. Thank you for joining the murder yet again. 25 months. That's nuts. Nuts. Our, our Twitch baby's gonna be in preschool before you know it. Yeah. There's no audio to shock me while I'm soldering. Actually, that is the case. When I'm gonna, when I'm doing, um, especially when I start building, and I can show you the stuff too, um, but when I start using. Things like a table saw, things like a miter saw, things like a drill press, things like a band, uh, band saw. <laughs> all all audio from this computer is going to be out. I mean, like I'm I have to focus so hard on that shit to make sure I don't cut myself. You know, uh, and that's actually it's not unusual in shops for that to be the rule. If if someone's using a specific tool or something, it's like all silence because you have to you have to keep your brain on that tool or. You know, you can keep your brain in an emergency department. So yes, Colette understands. How did the rest of logistics go last night? I, I fell asleep while watching. <laughs> Sorry, I'd be tired. A smarter way for me to do this probably would be to just do each transistor group or uh, resistor group at the same time. So if I'm doing this one, right, I do this one as well. Angel better show up because I got a fume extractor here. You know, just because of all the shit I got last time. Your pressure. Oh, that was a big one. That it may have been too much. What? You beat it? And they still gave your warehouse to the robots? What the hell, man? Well, what's, how do you win then? You just don't? The name of this game is You Don't Win? And I don't know, I don't know what, what, I'm guessing pretty is, on these joints is, you want a little, kind of a dome, you know, that's what you want. I've got a couple places where, like there's one right here, um, I don't know if I can get you to see it, but I, it didn't go all the way through, so I'm gonna guess, like you're looking for nice little domes. I know on the, uh, the pad solder version, you're looking for sort of a, I don't know, uh, exponential curve, a logarithmic curve. I think I got everything. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess that would be more of a speedrun mindset then, right, Colette? If you're wanting to just not organize and do, do whatever. Twisty, twisty, back and forth. I have a sneaking suspicion that as I do this, maybe not the woodworking stuff, but the soldering stuff, this may be a uh, an Undertale sort of experience. Are there, I gotta imagine someone has speed ran that, right?
there's no speedrun page for it? Well, change that, Colette. Start speedrunning the speedrunning that little game. Give it a place to live. What is this song? I kind of like it. Just give it a wiggle wiggle. There's some other resistors. Next. Just taking more resistors off a little paper tape here. I believe these are the 200, 200? Straight up 200? Yep. These are 200 ohm resistors. Everyone dying? I see. See, everyone's dying in therapy. The way that God intended. The surface mounting LED, or I'm sorry, the surface mounting uh, circuit practice, soldering practice thing I got actually has useless pads, which is nice, right? So they're 100% just to practice. They don't attach to anything. And it's also got another little LED DVO. Thank God. So you can practice doing all the little pads prior to actually trying to make a circuit. Even though I just need to, I just need to connect one uh, surface mount resistor. That's it. That's it. That's the extent of the the lightsaber. I just want to make sure that the shit I am doing on that is not the first time me doing it. I think that's never, I don't think it's ever a bad idea when you're working on a project to practice the thing before doing the actual thing. I would imagine like Colette for you that's um, though though it is sort of experimentation for you to uh, swatch in your book. I would imagine that's sort of sort of similar too. Though maybe not not technically, right? Not technique wise. You're practicing application but not application technique. Right, like how do I, what do I want to apply as opposed to, let me just try to make water marbles until I, I have a feeling for them. But I would imagine early on that's sort of how it goes, whether you like it or not anyway. You know, like maybe uh, swatching water marbles would fulfill that as well. It's like, let me practice dipping into them and removing and not tearing them and that kind of thing. But for, for like, um, I don't know what you call them, I guess, novice nail artists, you know, it strikes me as it's a good idea. Practice on something that's not the finger before actually putting it on the finger, fingernail. I mean, then again, it's like your worst case scenario, I suppose, is you just have to remove the polish and start over. Still, that's, you know... A waste of polish and those things can get expensive.
I don't know. I, I do know that, like, part of my, my progression in trying to learn a new tactile skill, especially when we're in, in a, you know, some sort of creations involved, is to use the, a piece of shit wood to make a cut first, and you know, before going over to the really expensive white oak and making a cut. Some things, like I noticed uh, on your stream though, Colette, some things, it's no matter what you do, the only way to actually know how a thing's going to work is to have it on the nail. There's just no no way to, to get a sense of it unless you do it straight on the nail. There's just no no other, like you can't practice, uh, You for example, you can't practice dipping two thumbs without dipping two thumbs. You can't practice the placement of dipping two thumbs without having something to place on the two thumbs, right? There's no, there's no analog for you to, to practice on. You just got to do it, and you got to do it with polish for it to make any sense whatsoever. Oh, hi, clowns. Oh, hi. <clears throat> this soldering iron is pretty damn awesome. It heats up. Quick. Well, I mean, I wouldn't say endless. I mean, you will run out of cadavers, and each cadaver only has what? If you're lucky, 20 opportunities? Scoochie. You there yet? Almost. Okay. It's a little long. following my own advice. There we go. like that one needed a little bit more. Make sure I'm not missing. Yep, only through hole. Because this is practice. And this would be the second time in my life I've ever done any of this. So. Everyone's got to start somewhere. Did I get everybody? It appears that I have. <coughs> I thought I gotcha. Clearly I did not gotcha. I 
listening to the microphone. People don't like that. I'm sorry. I got a lot of ghosts going on right now in my ear. You know I am partial to them. Oh no, no way. <laughs> That'd be great. Yeah, if I designed... Maybe, maybe one day. Today is definitely not that day. I, I am a complete brand new due to such things. I'm just now beginning to wrap my, wrap my, my mind around, you know, current voltage resistance. power, all that shit. I think I understand how a resistor works. Beyond that, if it doesn't have instructions, I am screwed. Ricky. It would be really nice to be able to get uh, adept enough to be able to... Well, actually, I guess you just continuity test, wouldn't you? To understand, uh, you know, to be able to relate a circuit diagram to a PCB. It's not largely unknown that a circuit diagram does not represent its positioning on a PCB or a breadboard or anything else. Okay. We have we have thus resisted. <laughs> what you don't like my cuticles? You don't, you don't like my cuticles, Colette. Look. <laughs> uh, actually, you know, it does come to my mind. I'm like, if I get really up close like this, since, since I hang out in your stream and I, you know, I'm, we're buddies and I mod and everything, I'm like, oh, Jesus. If Colette comes in here and she's got some of, some of her male people, they're going to be like, oh, my God, what is wrong with these fingers? <laughs> Hey, this is this is just you know your standard doing semi rough shit with your hands kind of deal, I guess. That hurts, man. Of course, they could be better, Colette. And I am fully aware that plenty of guys get manicures and stuff. I just, especially now, right now, I'm liking to build stuff. My, my hands are going to get ripped up. It's just <laughs> nails and everything. Okay, so now what I want to do, popular or not, I'm doing it, is we're going to not do any LED shit. Instead, I'm going to install the rest of everything but the LEDs. Because I want to see if I understand this circuitry enough uh, to test a hypothesis that I should be able to connect everything except for the LEDs, except for one LED, right in the dead center, and that should be able to give me an indication if I, if I put this on the 4.5 volts, because this takes... No, actually, it would be 1, 2, 3, 4. 4. So this runs off of 6 volts. I should be able to throw 6 volts into this dude, and if I did it correctly, the LED in the center will light up. That's the plan. And if it doesn't work, well then, I'll plug in all the LEDs anyway to practice the soldering and hope it works. <laughs> all right, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, to that end, let's do let's do all these triodes. There's a shit ton of these little triodes you gotta do. Uh, middle. 
which I think is ground. It goes yonder. And uh, I got a question that someone might know. Oh, hi, Gitch. Um, yeah, I got a multimeter, and I'm, I'm actually using a, a bona fide power supply. I got all that shit. Uh, some of these, some of these uh, components have like little compressions in the um, the leg, and is that where it's supposed to stop on the PCB, like with with the little flat parts that are squished out and kind of give it some resistance, or are those supposed to be like breakoff points? Like, what's the what's the the purpose? I've been using it basically to to lock the little dudes in like so it also helps them all stay a nice level configuration And that's off off camera. That's sorry about that, guys. But that's that's me just positioning it, so it's um about the same level. You're not missing much. It's me finagling. Go. Where's this guy? more better um, yeah these are gonna start fouling each other so I'm just gonna do I'm gonna do like three at a time or you know just where it makes sense it's like there's gonna be overlap here these two would overlap I could probably do this one too get it out of the way this leg, leg is not a happy leg. Fix it. Okay, so you. Here, maybe I can make it so you can see me insert this awkwardly. Add quote. Would you like to watch me insert this awkwardly? One of the legs is a little bit wonked. There we go. Alright. Let's -a go. What? What? Wait, what now? If you request Wilmot. I have to include a run and automatically become a mod. Oh, I got you for, uh, yes, you're going to have to add a run. It's it, you, you have to demonstrate the run <laughs> for it to go on there. But do it. Do it. I don't think they have problems with that. You know, like if you demonstrate that it is a, a speed game. Uh, I need to get closer for this. Holes are smaller. Yeah, get Gauls to do it. Gauls, Gallus. Hey, it's not again. God, I don't know what happened to the the world's best ice cream truck, but it has not been back. 
Now we just got, do your balls hang low? managed to get the other one too. Not quite enough solder though. I oh, guess not wanting to behave. Therefore I will flip you around and force you to. No, you just have to demonstrate like an any percent. Like show its viability as a speed game and you're pretty much set. And I oh, need to straighten these up and not press down like an idiot like I just did. Cradle with hand. And went flying. I got him though. Come here. You will be mine. Man, I should have told Clown that I told him he made his PCB. It's a completely missed opportunity. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to give you something, something to look at. I know it's exciting breaking off legs. Yeah, it's just, it's taller. Well, if, I mean, for something like that, son, if, if you feel better as a result, then I get it. You know, if you feel helpful, if you feel like you're supporting and so on, that's, that's one thing. But if you feel taken advantage of, that's a different story entirely. gonna bend these. Ah, pre-bend. Band. Oh, yikes. I don't know why that did that. Fix it.
fixed. Fixed. I mean, what we got four there. All right, I'm gonna do this dude right in the middle. Okay. Power. Uh, am I going to do the twelve hour? I don't know. <laughs> I'm having way too much fun doing uh, Maker's stuff. Yep. Yeah, no, I like sunburnt part of that too is, and I know that feeling too. It's like, listen, I'd rather I'd rather they call me and ask the question because if they do, it's gonna it's gonna save me three hours of complete bullshit tomorrow, <laughs> you know. I just don't know how many games that are, that are really just that are grabbing me right now. There's definitely you know some good games and shit. I'm just not after uh, Ghost of Tsushima. Ghost of Tsushima. I've just enjoyed, I've enjoyed creating stuff a lot more lately. Do not press down hard. You don't need to, A. And nothing good comes of it, B. Do a 12 hour soldering stream. <laughs> uh, God, imagine that shit. Today, I am going to solder together. The Bill of Rights. I'm going to make it out of resistors. There's some good shit coming out. I think, like like many others, I'm really looking forward to, to check out Cyberpunk. That game looks pretty fucking cool. If you are into games like that, I suppose. And I am. So I do suppose.
itch. Grace Moss. What? Gijai Grummy. I'm very sorry to hear that you're grummy. Or I'm very happy to hear that you're grummy. I'm not sure. Probably one of those. Sorry, guys, I'm... I'm forgetting to try to get you on, to, to, to get this in frame for you while I'm doing it. What? Buy a new keyboard. Well, in, you know, install a new keyboard then. If it's a laptop. It is not an impossible feat. That's an awkward little placement. Dude, Luke, I have a question. How many controllers do you have at this point? Because, like, you've, you've absolutely made the rounds. You could damn near, like, review controllers at this point. It's very important to, to vape before getting fumes because the vape fumes override the solder fumes. As it's stated in the holy text. Really? Ooh, that's not a very good joint. That's better. Okay. Oh no. Kitty cat vomitorium. Vomitorium. It's nice that this little dude comes with like mounting screws and shit. I probably could. I could probably like construct some little standoffs and I've got uh, plexi and plexi welding and all that yeah I could make a little case for it a little uh, chassis enclosure enclosure is probably the right way to put that huh ooh no missile pack sorry no missile pack for you. Alright, I suppose you can have missile pack if you want. Peepo Sad Salami.
Penguin for Angel. What? I do. I do have people sad salami. Dude. <laughs> it's one of my it's one of my favorite freaking emotes of all time. Maybe it was uh, just a peremptory hairball hack. All right, so we got that. Now I've got I've got two electrolytic capacitors and one ceramic capacitor. So we can do all that shit. Um power supply. That's power supply. And I think it's just a strap to hold it down, which is what these two little things are. Uh, you can use people's sad salami. That's a good way to make make uh, dick humor. It's just a little dick humor. It's fine. Yeah, so let's let's deal with let's deal with this little power supply first. It's a little power jack. some weird shit with this. It's somewhere in there. Unless something happened to it. Alright, Colette, calm down. Jeez. Freaking out on me over Peepo jerking his salami. I mean, it's a good emote, but let's not get crazy here. Um, I'm going to have to do some of this bullshit, I guess. What I really need is just something for... Just use gravity to all benefit. It's fucking awesome. I thought I got it. I thought I thought I definitely unlocked people sad salami. You rock. What are the components? Okay, so I think what I can do is I can take one of these legs, one of these longer legs, and then uh, wrap it around this dude here. So here's what I think I'm gonna do with that. Let's let's find us a leg. Standards. Hey, Schubert walk. Yeah, dude. Also an excellent, excellent choice. This one's long. and lots of room here. I'm not to do this in, in not the, the safest of ways, but it is a way that I have seen done before. Well, it worked, and then it fell through like an asshole. Now that the net's actually wedged in there, or tacked in there, I can come back and make it pretty. And I have a feeling this is just this is just structural support right here. This I can actually tell there's no traces that go anywhere, so. Wait, wait, wait. 
Did you find it? He's just, he's just, he's just polishing his salami is all. I mean, he just, he's, he likes his lunch meats. What's wrong with that? What the fuck is this song? They did something weird to a system of the down song. Uh, sorry you guys can't see this. I have to really get in there to squish everything down and line it up. Barely, barely in that hole. But barely's close enough, right, ladies? Ha 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 ha. Never gets old. There we go. Yeah, we got a little pork out. Just a little bit of pork out right there. What? Ice cream delivery? Have you attempted that, Luke? I can see how that would be definitely sketchy. Sketchy. I can barely figure out how to deliver room temperature foods. Yeah, so I just put this little uh, piece of leg right here. It's in the diagram as well, but it's not an electrical connection. It's just a Re reinforce this little switch right here like when when you're plugging in this is a DC in okay now that that bullshit's over we can do capacitors Uh, make sure I got these. Yep. So the anode is the long leg, and that needs to go here. Keyboard done don't like. Why well, don't like? Is it because it's separate or it's uh, apart from your laptop? Spin this around. Wigglies. Give it, give it moving circles. So you gotta, you gotta wiggle it back and forth like this, and then you gotta move it in a circle. And that's, that's how you get the job done. One capacitor. Two capacitor. Here we are. What? Twelve twelve dollar Walmart brand one. Well no wonder you don't like it. It's not that it has anything to do with Walmart, it has to do with it being twelve dollars. You definitely get what you pay for with keyboards. I do have a, a super basic keyboard that I like to use for my server. 
because I just have to be able to type a letter. That's it. I don't. I'm not going to be on it long. Okay. And the final little ceramic dude who is directly below. Uh, the ten farad. Yeah. So we have. It'd be nice if I can get this guy to stick up just a little bit, I think. I don't know if that's necessary, but it just strikes me as if I... If I'm putting solder through the hole, I prefer to stick to metal and not insulation. Okay. Can you guys see that? Yeah. This camera works great as long as I don't have to autofocus. Alignment. Do alignment. There we go. A little bit crooked, but that's all right. We'll take a look at it here. Before, what do I have left? I've got this thing. I actually don't know what this is. It doesn't really tell me either. Um, capacitors. Adjustable stable resistance capacitor, electrolytic capacitor, and DC power sockets. I still don't know what it is. Maybe it's just another capacitor. We'll, we'll look at the diagram and see if we can sort out what it might be. Alright, so what I'm talking about is this guy. So what are you? You are... Oh! I think this is a potentiometer. Yeah, this is a potentiometer, I guess. Huh. Huh. Who the thought? Oh God, the unfights have begun. This guy sits pretty proud. I mean, that's great. I'll take it. A variable resistor. Yes, yes, I did learn about that. Potentiometers, even in the diagrams, uh, look like resistors. Like the same symbology as resistors. Because that's basically what they are. Just fancy ass resistors. I learned a thing. I can't really apply that knowledge to anything, but maybe one day. Uh, this is just going to be a shit ton of LEDs that do something, and I don't really know what. Yeah, I want to trim these legs a little bit. Is there jutty outy enough to make me not happy about it? Right. Let's reflow these really quick. Now we've got the integrated circuits. Two little ICs right here. And... K 
Okay, so this is where's pin one? Because okay, so these instructions, which which this is supposed to be for absolute beginners, and it's it's kind of bullshit. Um, what? Jury duty. Jury jud, juddy outy. I was like, what? Jury duty? What? Um, yeah, these instructions suck. So here it says, hey, install the IC, but it doesn't really. IC means integrated circuit. <laughs> Be careful of pin direction. Okay. And the way I did this before, basically the only thing that I could do is just assume that this this uh, picture, this photograph, this uh, diagram is correct and use the little pin one dimples that they have. You know? So that's what we're doing here. I, I, I've never, I'm not quite aware of that. I never found Jar Jar to be a very compelling character. I don't think I have as much hatred for Jar Jar Binks as most other people do. I just find him to be a meh character. Ah, so that's nice to know. And since studying some shit, that square pin right there suggests that it's pin one, and pin one is always the top left uh, if you can uh, locate the orientation on a ICC. So it would make sense that this is the orientation for this dude. Just gonna take some fiddling. We should start with these since I have thumb space. There we go. I'm gonna bend a couple of these a little bit just so I can have it stay in place and not fall out. By me trying to me trying to keep this somewhat in frame is making it even worse. Right, just so just so it doesn't jingle jangle out. Where are you? Here. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I just never. People really get crazy about Jar Jar Binks. I never got it. I'm like, ah, he's not annoying. Yeah, there's some annoying bullshit. And I, I thought the Jamaican trope was a bit much, but beyond that, don't really care. Forgive my odd little noise. I'm just I'm having a little rock out moment in my my brain with this young music. Just gonna do some trimming here with my side cutters. You are missing nothing. It's very boring. Reflow. Wait. <clears throat> Star Wars watch when he was a kid. Oh, that's kind of cool. Wow. Bet that puppy's worth some some dough. I'm completely off, aren't I? Well, not completely. Close though. And I don't know if this is necessary, but when I cut the legs off, if there's any distortion from me doing that, I just assume reflowing that solder is just a good way to get everything 
juiced well together. Big dude. All right. Um, and just to compare. So, right. Might be hard to see. That's a square pad. That's a round pad. All the rest of these are round pads. The square pad, as I understand it, is telling you where pin one is. The orientation on this, this little dimple right here, uh, as I understand it, you'll either get a little dimple like this or you'll get a little indicator, a little uh, like divot right next to whatever pin one will be. So pin one is always the top left or the... <laughs> In your orientation right now, that is correct, right? So if it's here, then this is pin one, top left. This is saying that pin one needs to be here, so I'm just gonna line them up and get it going. Oh, you didn't want to go in at all, did you? Let's do a little bendage again. A little bendage in discipline. Yeah. Don't apply your 80s and 90s conceptual formulations of human sexual proclivity to the here and now. How dare. What's a Plinkett review? Is that a specific reviewer? I am unaware of such a a poison. Siren's kind of loose. And that's a problem. So I will have to fix that. After getting the solder joint in. Eh, actually I should just do the whole ICC, or IC, integrated circuit. Integrated circuit circuit. That'll stop it from spinning. It's wanting to spin on me. That needs to cool down for a bit so I can actually, I might as well complete this out. What? People at HMUing? Wait, what are we talking about here, Gitch? Jar Jar Binks? Is that what we're watching together? I kind of, you know, suck at paying attention generally, but I find it all the more difficult while doing these maker streams. Even though I have the time to do it, as compared to like a speed run. Oh, that was not a very good break. That's better. 
Oh, Plinkit reviews. Yes, I asked about that and I didn't look up to get the answer. Sorry, I'm off screen again. Just uh, cleaning up my legs here. Hit this up. I'm just going to HMU this a little bit. Now, I have to let the soldering iron cool down a little bit so I can secure it properly. Yeah, I still don't know who any of that is. Is it like the, the V saucer of reviewers? Dude, I got. I don't know if you can see it. You can see my car. Am I in the way? I got three of the four tools. Really good prices on these things. They reviewed very well. Oh, dude, and I got this awesome ugh, four inch vise. It's an angle vise. So I actually have a vise. Like, I bring this up because Luke brought it up. This is a vise that I can actually use on the tools that I have here. I can use it to secure my. Uh, my drill press, but I'm also I'm also thinking about making a, an offshoot like a a tripod of sorts for the um, table I'm building, where I could have that just independently do its thing, which would be great. It's a really good vice. I like it a lot. Here you can look at the. Component tree. The next step is to uh, actually get this guy powered. I'm just thinking about how I can do that. I think I might run a wire here. Just a couple of legs right there. I mean, the legs should be able to handle six volts, right? I mean, come on. completely blazing hot. Yeah, I mean, it's Saturn iron, of course it is, but... Okay, so let me do that. I should do this on the other side, but I don't know how I'd be able to pull that off, though. Well, just a light little connection like that. Nothing crazy. Yep, actually, that that's enough. I didn't want it to break, but it broke.
As long as I can get an alligator clip to it. Nice. <laughs> Nailed it! Just trying to sneak it around. Actually, that's preferable. All right. So. Anode. And then, it's kind of hard to do. Cathode, short guy, negative. Long guy, positive. Long boy, theoretically, should be in this square according to what the instructions say, so. Before we do that, let me uh, let me get this going here. I've already I've already got this somewhat set up. This is gonna be kind of close. As long as you're not touching anything else, that's fine. These are massive fucking alligator clips, but you know what are you gonna do? Yeah, I don't want you sitting on the capacitor. Okay. And it's not in output mode yet, so let me adjust my voltage up to uh, six. Okay, and let me just take a look here about the capacitance on this. Uh, I've got one, I've got one 10k. Alright, uh, that should be enough. It's great. Yeah, everything is doing as it should. I'm reading one milliamp, so that means everything's working the way it should. In other words, like all the, sh all the shit that you'd expect to see in terms of resistance is, is being a happy clam right now. All right, so if this, in fact, is the case, then I should be able to... Hey-o. 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 I slipped off. I hate it when that happens. Don't you hate it when you slip out of the hole? There we go. I'm gonna get in there. Okay. Protron's method has half worked. So I for sure know the orientation of these things now. Dude, it sucks. It's embarrassing when you slip out of the hole. You know, you can't you can't you can't get it to shut up shine up in its beautiful bright shiny redness if you slip out. Hey! I didn't even have to use a multimeter, huh? Alright. Now that we've accomplished this, I got bad news, guys. Every last one of these things here needs to get filled with an LED and soldered into place. That's gonna take a while. So, yeah. Let me uh, stop my power supply here. And now we've got capacitors involved, so. They are now charged. 
Not like they could really do much. But still. Okay, turn off my power supply here. Uh, now I need to remove these uh, the battery leads here. Actually, no, I'm going to keep them. We're going to keep them for the moment. You can power this off a of USB. That's what this little dude is for. It, it actually comes with a little cable for it. But this is for batteries. And I'm probably just going to keep them like this. I don't think I'd connect the batteries. You know? Oh, bad news like ending stream. No, I'm uh, fairly committed to getting this done. Though it is getting close to dinner time. That's a good way to do this. I mean, the way I did it before wasn't too, too bad. It was a little bit of a pain in the ass. But... Yes, and no, I will not. I, I'm not going to. I am not going to force current through the diodes, <laughs> Luke. Man, Luke's Luke's just trying to get me to blow shit up. Can't blame him. All right, cathode. It's the short one, and it goes to the right. Is that guy keeps wanting to poke me. Done poke me, bro. And I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm gonna bend these leads. I didn't last time. That worked out pretty well. I mean, I, I may have to, but... This guy sort of sticks out. Maybe what I'll do is I'll make a table of these. So each I'll just get the each corner one, and then I can actually uh, lay it over without it creating any problems. I think that's the play. Because as it stands, you guys are gonna, not going to be able to see the soldering side that I have yet as I have to hold it up to secure it. Let's not burn my mat. What? Did I get a follow? Thank you for the follow, whoever followed me. Aesthetic sound waves. Thank you for the follow. Yeah, guys, I can't hear my alerts, so I apologize if I'm missing anything. And, uh, and thank you to my mods for thinking on my behalf or, you know, letting me know that I'm being a, a bad streamer. You're not going to let me attack it, are you? Uh, maybe it'll let me get the square one. I do have helping hands. But since I have to flip this thing over, there we go. There's my tack. Since I have to flip this thing over all the time, it's not helpful. Right. Very gently. It's this LED is acting completely like a pivot right now. Oh, that didn't that didn't work out at all. Air. Okay. Now, just just in case, I just I just I'm so nervous about this shit. You can't hear the alerts either. You should be able to. Oh wait. Um, I don't have a way to. Can someone, if, if it, can you find it in your heart to send me a cheer one just to make sure you guys can hear it? 
Get someone donate a bit to the cause. Just cutting legs. Did you guys hear that? Thank you, Colette, by the way. Uh, a cheapo PCB holder. Ah. Yeah, dude, if you if you, um, if you you can send me the link. And if you want to share the link in chat, I have no problem with that either. It's a tool. God, okay. I, I don't know. I'm going to have to just figure out what's going on with that. I kind of want to do it right now because I'm just sure I'm going to forget. Trying to figure it out, guys. Uh, you know what I could do? I mean, it's not against the law for me to do it. If you're wondering what I'm listening to right now, it's Trees of Eternity, Eye of Night. And I really like this song. Must fix alerts. Alerts are important for everyone's vibe. Thank you, Luke. All right. This shit. Oh. Thanks, Twitch. Uh, we might get some... Feedback? Due to echoing. So my apologies if that is the case. Okay, did you guys hear that? So I know what's going on here. So I think did you get did you get much um, did if any feedback on that? Like any echoing, anything like that? I bet you didn't hear this. You would have definitely heard a, a, a cheer loop. It would have just kept looping. Cool. Right, so I know what's causing it. Uh, it will work now. As long as it doesn't end up being an audio loop, it's fine. And uh, we got it fixed. Alright. Oh, 
I'll just throw this around. And unbuckle my, my shoe while I'm at it. My sandal. My sandal. Alright. Now, my grand plan on this is this little dude right here sits up a little bit higher than everything else. So it's a little, it's a fulcrum. What I want to do is I want to establish the same thing on all the ends. Then I'll have a nice table I can just throw everything in, flip it all over, and solder with it flat. I followed, woo! That's the plan. And they're all yellow. These is all yellow. Start with this. Ah, all right, again. Anode is long, anode is square. Cathode is a chode. And is a circle. Um, I kind of put this in an awkward spot. Another thing I've noticed is there's a definite technique difference with dealing with the square pads and the, the circular pads. Like with the circles, I kind of have to do an angle thing like this. To get it to like fall down into it. And that wasn't nearly enough. Whereas the square pad is just happy to be here. Boot. Easy. That is the orientation that we need. That is not where I want you, though. Square first because it behaves. Almost have a table. We're missing all the insertion. What kind of stream is this? Won't show penetration? Wow. How dare. How dare, guys. Unsubbed, unfollowed. Unhinged. Um, I'm doing this off the top of my head, but now I'm listening to Megadeth, and I believe this is... Oh God, is it the world's last 24 hours? In case anyone cares. <clears throat> okay, Colette, are you gonna are you gonna go stream right now? So I know that once I'm done, I've got a place to raid. Nanny stream. All right, cool. Um, if I get through with the LEDs in time. Which I'm sure I will. It's short. Uh, fuck it. I'll, I'll see you over there, Colette. <laughs> Have a good stream. Four. 
just did. And I'm completely off camera again. I'm sorry. can't see that. And my thought is, once I have this sort of stabilized like this, I'll be able to just do whole lines all at once and just kind of... Um, I don't know. Uh, I can't remember. Assembly line. Jesus, man. <laughs> Assembly line. Wording is hard. Come on. Stop getting stuck in there. That's a bit much. Okay. I curious. Hey. It's doing stuff. Cool. Now we just get all these LEDs in and uh, that, as they say, is that. off legs very very exciting stuff all right let the grand soldering commence Being a bastard, get in there. Yellow, red, yellow, red. And 
hopefully this will make it so I can align these fairly quickly and easily. Some of them fall through, some of them are very difficult to get through. Like, see, like these are sort of falling through. I will try to do this as best as I can on well in frame. Don't get distracted, one of them goes in the square. Now, since I have all those guys set up, I should be able to just get these sort of lined up and organized. These ones really don't want to move. I mean, as long as the connection's there is all I really care about. TBH. Uh, I put it the wrong way though. I really should be doing it this direction. You know, I have tweezers, and I am allowed to use them. I have a feeling this is a thing where I'm, I'm being more perfectionist than I need to be. Roughly the same height. They're gonna flop around no matter what I do. So I'm just gonna get them reasonably straight, at least in the lateral direction. Because you can't really adjust the laterality once it's soldered in. Okay? And my, my final little job is to make sure all the Yeah. All the short legs are on one side. Order in time. Um, I should have kept it that way. Forgot that I have a, a shit ton of these in a row. No, we're not even hot yet. sticking in. I need to get like a piece of tape or something for that when I'm doing this. It's the hinge for this. That's which is going to be a dick, so we're going to lock them in. Uh, hey dog, if you're still around, did you check out any of the new one-day builds? What'd you think? It's interesting, he's just like, he's all about organization and precision right now. It's one of the reasons why I like that, is you can definitely see where his brain is, you know? All about, how do I make shit more precise? How do I organize things more? That was a bad joint. Okay. 
Ta da! How'd we do? Yeah, it ain't perfect, but it's doable. <clears throat> Oh, you found old ones too. Right, dude. Yeah. That's cool. I, I never get tired of those. I don't like all the tested shit, but I, I definitely like Adam Savage's one-day builds. He, uh, I love the fact that he doesn't, he really doesn't overproduce it. Like, you see him just be his fr frantic, frenetic self running everywhere having half thoughts out loud followed by complete silence followed by running as fast as possible to get a specific kind of drill bit you yeah, know good shit uh it'll work but it is meant as practice so a little bit of both gitch it is practice for me but it is functional I need to push these in just a little bit. They will fall out when I flip this over. There we go. Line shit up a bit. Really should have started on the right. Come on. <clears throat> there's some other interesting shit. Like, there's some interesting Lego stuff that some of the test guys do. And there's this one guy who is uh, kind of their painter and sculptor dude. I haven't seen him for a while, but he had some really cool shit too. I find Norm kind of annoying. TBH. It's not like he did anything to deserve it. He's just there's something ultra plasticky about it, and I don't, I don't respond well to that. I'm sure, he's a very nice guy. It just seems like he's he's really. He's really being produced while on camera. So, I, you know, kind of hard to relate to for me. Missing that. Genuine. And it could be that's how he is genuinely, but it's just still... It feels like a little produced. Or a lot produced. This is what I'm really saying. Next. I don't know why I flipped it over. We're doing this side now. Is that right? Yep. Yeah. Long leg. God, what else? What? There was another thing on Tested that I thought was pretty cool. I'm trying to remember.
I'm, I'm trying to, there's, there's something maker oriented that I also thought was cool and I can't, I can't fully form the idea in my head, but like thinking about tested has very vaguely reminded me of something I'm now trying to achieve in terms of recollection. Oh, um, God, what is her name? I really like her videos, too. Uh, Simone. Simone Gertz, isn't that her name? I really like her shit. And I like, I like her personality and her sense of humor. She's like, let's, let's come up with basically a pointless invention. Like, she made this whole... Proud parent robot um, during uh, during lockdown because she couldn't have human contact, so she made a robot to pat her on the shoulder and say everything will be okay. <laughs> uh, let's do it this way. And I am now listening to Nightwish, I think. I think this, uh, the Amaranthine. Or Amaranth? Hi, Astrine. Welcome on into my ultra newbie, yeah, Amaranth, ultra newbie soldering practice string. I need more. Let's not burn our components. What do you think, Grotron? Cable's getting stuck again. Yeah, I guess uh, Simone Gertz had, um, I think her last name is, is Gertz or Geertz. She had a, a brain tumor as well. Oh, I won't forget the nut. I never forget the nut. You know me, dude. Well, we should do it from this direction. In before I screw up the anode and cathode again. Watch me do it. Just watch me do it, fellers. <clears throat> um, this is just a practice board, Astrine. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Kind of. Trying just to get better at soldering. <laughs> 
This is the second time I've ever done even through hole soldering. So I'm practicing because I've got a lightsaber project that I will be working on, which requires a bit of soldering. And this will do some sort of LED something. But really, it's mainly getting components onto the board uh, and doing so decently enough to have a functioning circuit. That's all I'm trying to get to. So there's no purpose to this board other than that. here. This seems to be... And I would, like, if this really mattered, I would probably solder each one of these individually in at a time. But, you know, I'm a sloppy bastard, what can I say? Double checking that everyone's in the correct position. It would be cool to learn enough and know enough that I could start Arduinoing shit. But that's, uh. It is a journey, but one that I think I have a reasonable starting position for right now. Just learning circuitry and things. And the requisite technique and skills necessary to manipulate such things. What is that? I can't even tell. I see an III, it looks like, but I don't know what the thing is. Is that a. I can't tell. <laughs> It's too far away for me to tell. Is it lewd? Are you being lewd again? If you are, then GG's. Nice joint. Did it actually go in? Yeah, it did. I have a bastard of a time with um, the round through, through holes, and the only way I can seem to get it to work is I just have to be almost vertical with my soldering iron, like so, then it seems to behave. I knew what I was doing to make this dip more difficult on myself. Let me try it. First of all, let me get more solder. Yeah. yeah. I, uh, I got this kit on Amazon for like 15, uh, 15 bucks US. But I'm doing that for that very reason. It's like, I'd much rather have this be a failure than... See, I shouldn't have to use that much solder just to get it down into that joint. Maybe if I do this. Like, I'm trying to give it a, a directionality. But that's the general idea. Gotta go eat dinner? Alright. Enjoy your dinner, dog. Thanks for, uh, thanks for hanging out. As per usual. And I mean, like the the stuff that I'm soldering to, it's not it's not the most expensive shit on the planet, but it's not it's not cheap either, right? It's I've got a a little board that's uh, 80 bucks that I'll be soldering to, and I would prefer to not screw that up. And I've got a couple of uh, power delivery mechanisms that I need to solder to, and those are like 10, 15 bucks each. Again, I would prefer not to screw that up. 
and it's it's um it's not it's like what i want to say i got her solder some pins some actual pins so power delivery pins uh to a small pcb and that's like six of those or something like that i've got wiring that i need i need to through hole solder um But that's only like five wires, I want to say. It's not, it's not a tremendous amount of soldering. I just want to make sure that my first time trying such things is not going to happen on an actual project piece. That I want to be functional and cool and shit. Just drifted all the hell the way over there, didn't you? This guy's like ultra sticky out of Everyone's going the right the right direction. <clears throat> what? You lost your microphone because of a bad nut? Oh no, man. Why don't you nut correctly? The hell. Dude, hit the ceiling whoa, hit the ceiling lamp. Start from cloud field, no shit. You know what? Like, at that point, you just have to say that was the intent. And just go with it. Um, how do I want to approach this? Actually, I may have just learned a lesson. We're going to have to... I might try to solder this last little section in. I have to do all sorts of awkward shit to get in there. Um, you guys are going to have to back up for a sec. But then I'm going to have to cut these legs off. Okay. Now I should be able to flip this around. Maybe not. We'll just continue on the way that I was doing it. Uh, I can't really move this, which is why, unfortunately, I'm unable to give you a better picture of this. Oh, yeah. I think I have a choice. Yeah, I definitely need to cut the legs off. Sweep the leg! Well, you know, you gotta be prepared. The nut can come out any time. <clears throat> you gotta be prepared. Expect the unexpected. There we go. Now you are behaving as expected. If 
I can stop from sliding around everywhere. Cool. <clears throat> Would you like? I like I like the little uh, bunny sip there. May I interest you in a picture? Definitely need to cut the legs off. This one's gonna suck. I see you grabbing. There you go. You just need to flow down there. Trying not to burn components here, but you're making this awfully difficult, Iron. Ugh. I'll let that cool down a little bit. There we go. Let me try a different angle. I don't, I don't have much choice. I'll go this way. God, I think the legs are what's doing it. Like, I can't... I have to be able to... Hmm. Maybe like this? I think I just definitely made things harder for myself here. If I start from this end and work my way down. I guess it just needs... I mean, if I use just huge gobs, it forces it down in there. I don't feel like that's like that's just a massive amount I just put on there to get it to stick. Maybe I just need to let it warm up a little bit more. Let's make that more reasonable. Yes, it did. I don't know. Did say yes. You're breaking Angel's heart here. Try this. And I probably could flex this and it wouldn't be a problem. Yeah, no, the whole vertical thing is still the only way I can get it to work reasonably, so I'll just stick with it. Let's cut these legs off. <clears throat> Before I do that, one last check. Make sure everybody is going in the correct direction. And it looks like we are. And I apologize, I can't really get this into to frame without compromising my ability to to cut well.
cast off in the hands to the ground. Let me skip that one. GG's. Well, shit. zip right on through these. Almost done, guys. And I'll probably go back through and reflow all this. Not even probably, I absolutely will. Just posted in her Discord. Sunburnt knows. She knows the strats. All right. Almost dist. here. I say you use whatever tool works. These side cutters, I would, uh, I would say, is better than the nail cutter. Why? Because it's flat. You can just get Discord, Angel. Wait, actually, I don't even know if Gitch has a Discord. I'd imagine she does. She streams, so. Isn't that a prerequisite according to Twitch? Just uh, deliver it in person. She's in Canada somewhere. I think she's in Calgary. There you go. Problem solved. Concerned about lateral than I am horizontal. Mm. We'll just send your bestie to do your dirty work. I mean, your uh, your your good Samaritan services. ago. Go on, you know you're getting hot enough.
that one was a little bitch, wasn't it? How dare. Okay. Do these as I go. Seems to be a decent plan thus far, so I might as well continue it. That one's a little bit a booby. That's better. Ah. Came right for me. Right. Don't put this in the incorrect way, please. Like you always seem to do. It's almost in view. I almost did something correct. this okay okay
Okay. Almost there. Mm. I think like this. Imagine doing this shit with, like, old tiny soldering iron. Really? No? I say so. Which is basically a blowtorch. This one just does not want to... There we go. I was definitely overkill, but it just did not want to go in. Alright, one more row. Uh, Kiba says hi, by the way, guys. get to eat dinner. And that'll be pretty cool. Last row. What? A goppinid? What is that? Ooh, the mic is in my Discord about the how the nut did the thing to the mic. Excellent. Did I put that on correctly? Yeah, I did. Oh, please. Angel's, Angel just like run around showing everybody his mic. Don't forget to explain what happened though. Context is important. Not the uh, a line at all. Uh, this would be fine, actually. But he's moved roughly in the same direction. <coughs> what? People only see your class book. Well, I mean, isn't that your six hundred dollar physics book? It's a pretty good book, dude. Music girl, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. All 
Alright. I think I'm going to start right and go left this time, just, you know, because variety is the spice of life. I'm starting to learn something about this wire configuration. Basically, it's I have to wedge this between the wire and the iron, and then it seems to be all right. If I don't, then I have globs and run everywhere. Generally bad behavior. Wait, nine hundred dollars? Shit, I screwed it up. Three hundred dollar? Who? Who wrote that shit? I want to know. Three hundred dollar human sexuality book. I don't want to know because I want to be in on that shit. Alright, all the components have been attached. Will it work? Will it do what it's supposed to do? And I actually don't know what this LED pattern LED pattern is supposed to be. Honestly. So I guess we're going to find out. Uh, before we do that, let me... Strong neodymium, neodymium one way. Okay. Let's connect the power supply and see if this does a thing. Yes, understanding human sexuality. Three hundred dollar understanding human sexuality book sounds like something they'd give to med students. Who are actually, funny enough, far more like in general terrified of the concept of human sexuality than most people for some weird reason. And I do say that from experience. Flip you over here. Let's attach our paws first. Positive. Some negative. Power supply on. And go. Hey! Success, fellers! Just watching to make sure every LED is working. I got one that's not working here. Anybody else dead? Okay, yep, yeah, it's just this one. So I need to figure out what happened with this little LED. And you know what maybe we can do? So I don't consider it successfully done yet. It was this one, right? I probably should have. Yeah, it was this one. else to do this. <laughs> Can I? You are ah, count. 
Center, one, two. Center, one, two, three, fourth one from center. One, two, three, four. This guy. Okay. You guys probably can't see what I'm doing. Sorry about that. I have to do some weird shit here. I got one leg out. There we go. I couldn't find a, a place to give me a leverage. One, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. Come on. Everybody melt. This way. Ah, I need I need room. This is awkward. What I'm trying to do is just remove this thing. Um, this is good practice because I haven't really done much of this. Okay. There's one leg out. I've got plenty of like extra red LEDs, so that's why I'm doing this. I would like to see this 100% work correctly before the end of the stream. Guys, this is hard. One, two, three, four. I slipped out. A little embarrassing. Get it? No. Being difficult. Could be a dirty connection. It's too late now. Got it. All right. So now, well, shit. Now that I did that, actually, I probably should. I probably actually should call the stream. <laughs> this dinner's been waiting for me for a bit. Uh, I am gonna fucking repair this though, and I'll prove it. I will prove it by putting it on my Discord. But in the meantime, we'll just we'll leave it on this note. Yay! Alright guys, so 
successfully managed to put LEDs on the PCB. Minus one LED, which I will be fixing here after dinner. Just make sure, yep, everything else fits. Everything else works, everything else is soldered together, and it's giving me a pattern. I'm pretty sure that's what it was supposed to do. Ah, <sighs> excellent. All right, guys, so with that, I am going to take off. I am going to go eat some dinner. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I'm gonna, I've got another kit already that I need to do with this, which is going to be the surface soldering. Don't know when I'm going to do that, but I'm probably going to want to wait for that uh, soldering, solder sucker to get in here, because I don't really have any other way. I've got wick. Okay, anyway, I'm going off on a tangent. What I'm going to do is I'm going to... Um, I'm probably going to put put this on the BRB screen, and then I'm going to run inside because it's just easier for me than doing this on a tablet to raid you guys over to Colette. And yeah, yeah. Thank you for the GGs, and you are welcome for the stream, everybody. Uh, Gidge and everybody. I don't know. I'm tired. I'm hungry. What can I say? Uh, but yeah, let me hit you on a BRB, and we'll get you raided over to Colette. Thanks, guys. Be sure to do something with uh, with uh, Dick emotes when you're in Colette's stream. She really likes that. All right. I can make this work. I will read us over here shortly. 